We're going to build a plenum for the top of a furnace that's three foot by 21 inches and we're going to build it to put on a furnace. We're going to make it four sided so it lays down flat if you're going to use it in your truck or take it out on the job site so it isn't all one big piece. So what we're going to start off with is our 13 and a half inch side and then we're going to use the Pittsburgh which is a quarter of an inch. So we're going to make this 13 and a half and we got to add a quarter to each side so we're going to make it 14 inches. So we need two pieces 14 by 36. So that's our first one 14. And while we're at the shear, these are our two, the front and the back, the 13 inch sides. Now we're going to make our other ones 21 and then the, Pits, the female Pittsburgh, uh, you got to allow an inch. So we're going to allow an eight inch on each side. So this is going to be 23 inches. We need two of them. I'm going to make the plenum so it has a half inch flange on the furnace so you can screw to the furnace. And then uh, I allow a half inch for the top cap. So what I need to mark is a half inch on the top and the bottom and the one inch for the Pittsburghs on the sides. So I'll use my scribe, mark a half inch, half inch. Okay, now the other sides need the one inch, so we adjust our scribe to one inch. Okay, now that we have it scribed, we notch to the half inch and one inch line. So you do that at about a 15 degree angle. You do that to all four corners. So you have it all, all four, and now you do that to the, to the next piece. So now what we're going to do is cross break the duct for a reinforcement. So we go to the, the notches and we just lift up a little and we put our, our uh, line in there. Then we go from the other. Now we have our cross break. Now we do that to the other piece. Now we're ready to run these through the Pittsburgh machine to put the Pittsburgh seam on this there. This is a 10 acre 20 gauge Pittsburgh machine. You can use a 24 gauge. They both do the same thing, just more capacity. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to build a half inch flange that goes out on the furnace to screw to. On, on here we have where our notch comes in that we notch to all the time. Now what we're going to do is bend the half inch at a 90 degree. So we're going to put it in the brake, line it up with them notches again, and then we're going to bend this up at a 90 degree. And this is the flange we're going to put on top of the furnace to screw to. We'll bend the other one, go to them same distinct notches that we put in there. Now the two sides are done, now we're going to build the ends. So we need to mark that half inch at the top and half inch at the bottom. Okay, now the male part of the Pittsburgh takes a quarter inch, bent up at a 90. So now we mark both sides. So now we have it marked with a quarter inch on the sides and a half inch at the top and the bottom. So now we notch these at our approximate 15 degree angle. Okay, now, now that we have it all notched, now we're ready to go put the X or the cross break in it and bend our flange. Now we gotta bend this half inch flange. Now we bend that flange up at a 90. Now we have to flip it over and bend these quarter inch up at a 90 also. And on the end of the brake, there's a drop down that allows for a down flange. Now what we have to do, since we've got this turned around, we've got to go to the other side of the brake to bend the other flange to let it bend down. And that allows this drop, allows us to bend this half inch flange without distorting it.
Now we have the quarter inch on each side, then we have the half inch flange out. Now we're going to cross break the other piece. So we go to our quarter inch notches. Now we have both ends bent and now we're ready to assemble it. And with that flange bent down, I have to put it over the table over here, otherwise you'll damage the flange. Okay, now we do that to the other three sides. Okay, now we're going to build the, the top of the plenum. The plenum we built was 13 and a half inches by 21 inches. And for the cap to fit inside of it correctly, you have to subtract a quarter of an inch off of each, each dimension. So we, it's 13 and a quarter by 20 and three quarters is the size we want it when it's all done. And then we add, for our seam, we add an inch on one side, an inch on the other. So we have to add two inches to each one of the measurements. So it's going to be 15 and a quarter by 22 and three quarters. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and do, get our cut size at 15 and a quarter. Now our other measurement is 22 and 3 quarters. Scribe the inch all the way around it. And I mark this inch on both sides. Where the one inch lines meet, you just cut it straight across so that'd be a 45 degree angle all the way across. Do that to all four corners. Now we're ready to cross break it and mend our flange on the top. Okay, now we need to bend a half inch flange, just a little under a half inch on this, uh, all the way around this. And this, you mark another line and bend it on the break, or we can use the 10 knocker cleat bender. I don't have to mark anything, and it's real accurate to be able to put that just under a half inch flange on this. It leaves it open just a little bit so it doesn't smash it over and you have to spread it apart later during assembly. So we do all four sides with this half inch. Now what we need to do is bend all these up at a 90 so our flange is going outward on this cap. Now, this is the top of the plenum with the flange going up. This is what we ended up with, all four sides with the seam all the way around for our, the plenum to fit into. Now we're going to put the top on the, the plenum. And I start with one side. Take and tap that over. Uh, this last side, sometimes where it's cross broke, it kind of goes in a little, so you might have to take a screwdriver and kind of get it lined up. Okay, your, your plenum top's on. Uh, you should put a couple screws uh, in it to, for support to keep it from uh, popping off, but you're pretty much done. A 36 inch plenum, it really only is 35 and a half because we used a half inch flange to go out to screw to on the top of the furnace. But this is a four sided plenum with a Pittsburgh seam on each, each end. 
Uh, and what we make this, a lot of times people make a four-sided plenum because they can make it in the shop, take it out on the job, and they can have it all broke down so it isn't carrying out this big piece in a truck and damaging it. So what we have is that, and we have the, the plenum top with a half-inch flange on it so we can, uh, um, for assembly. And uh, this is made with the half-inch flange, so all you have to do is run screws around the furnace to uh, connect it to the furnace.